Green Box is the Debbie Meyer science of fresh and keeping yes. things fresh. It's really famous here and elsewhere at HSN. This is the collection that we wait for. And remember, it's Debbie's last show of the visit. This is the home collection. And I have to say, I think this is probably the most diverse home collection I've seen you do. I really do. This I love this set because I wanted to put in it everything that Boy, I you use did. all the time. No joke. You're getting everything from my bread box, which everybody loves to have all the time. And you, by the way, you can actually get separate you can um, separate purchase more of these the bread box you're getting my divided plates you're getting this huge 4.8 quart uh, box the square one at the bottom you're getting eight cup boxes you're getting my sandwich boxes those are great i call them sandwich boxes because they're the perfect size however they are for everything that you would use a debbie meyer green box for you're getting two of my divided eight cup plates you're getting like i said the divide the divided plate as well you're getting the the individual ones it's hard to reach down there these are 1.125 cups each <laughs> They're perfect size for a muffin or a cupcake, yeah, too. Snack, sure. you know? Yeah, sure. And then these as well. So you're getting all the sizes, things that I take with me to work yes. when I take lunch to work. You're getting all the things that I use at home every single day. <laughs> you are indeed. You. Uh, by the way, Karen what loves products so much, giving them as Christmas gifts. Gloria right. says they're great. Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's hey, Day. Don't give me another thing I have to dust. <laughs> give me something that makes my life better. This is it. It's the gift of saving money. It is. It's and true. not wasting food. What mother wouldn't love that? All right, look at this right here. Then now I'm going to explain to you why my green boxes have become such a phenomenon in the storage world. Nine days ago, I purchased strawberries. I purchased raspberries. I put, I stored them exactly as I would ordinarily. These, except got to live in one of my green right. boxes. By the way, to prove a point, because sometimes people say, oh, they specially treated or whatever. I'm a raspberry yeah. fanatic. So listen, from Perfect at two. Perfect nine days. Oh, that is good. Right? That is good. Perfect at nine days. Mm, what yum. do you want to have at nine days? Strawberries you can feed to your family or strawberries you can throw in the garbage? Sure. No, stupid question, oh, right? right? Okay, look at that raspberry. I can roll it around my hand at nine days. That's because my boxes are made with my proprietary formula of natural ingredients that is part of the construction of the box. You cannot wash out, you cannot wear nope. it out. It's not a coating. So as long as you have the box, it works. As long as somebody else has it, it works. Yeah. As long as that box exists, it works. It's a forever product. And I've added an additional freshness agent that allows you to keep baked goods fresh longer as well. So at 11 days, Oof. Independent laboratory testing said that that's about what you can expect. However, at 11 days now, here's that bread box. What a difference. Which we call it because of the size and shape, but you can put anything in it. This is 11 days. And Shannon's going to be your nose. Look at how Look fresh at how that soft is. That is. I mean, oh, yeah. Is that so? That's I was, great. I love when I open the box up and that I know. bread smell Almost comes up Almost two weeks old. That's Almost two weeks. crazy. 12 days. And it doesn't matter what kind of bread. It's all breads, whether it's those nice, gorgeous, chewy bagels or those yeasty English muffins. It can be a boule, one of those artisan sure. breads fits perfectly in this box. Come on down here, because we're still talking about science. This is the science of keeping your food fresh. In the industry, it's known as Debbie Meyer Active, active storage. storage. Because the box is actively working to keep what's in it fresh longer. This is real science. It's not an opinion. This is scientifically tested and proven, and that's why hundreds of millions of my boxes and over a billion of my bags are in use today. At nine days, there's a difference on mushrooms. And I buy my mushrooms pre-sliced uh, because See, I, I like to the convenience. But they seem to go bad faster, they don't do, they? They do, and that's part of the science. Sure. Because ethylene gas is the enemy of your fruits and vegetables, not air. Ethylene gas is what rots your fruits, fruits and vegetables. Once they are cut, they give off even more but they give it off as a whole as well. These are 14 days on my countertop. Those are 14 days rotted on my countertop. And look at the difference. What a difference. Look at that. I know. It's completely solid, just as it should be. It, it is, and you know, farmer's markets, oh. you buy organic, if you oh. are juicing, it just seems and like it's cash in the trash, That's normally. a bread box holding an enormous amount of celery and if yes. you are juicing, you need a lot yeah. of fruits and vegetables. Let's look at the difference between dead food and live food. Right. Look at the color alone tells you the difference. At three weeks, my boxes are all BPA free, top rack dishwasher safe, and proudly made right here in America. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal to me, and I realized how big it was to everybody else when they started yeah. writing to me. You're look right. Look at that moisture and that color. 
and smell I know. It. Is that gorgeous? Oh, it's so fresh. I love this smell. But you know, speaking of fresh, herbs go bad overnight. And it's so funny, I went to two different grocery stores today to get cilantro because, oh, yeah. you know, with Cinco de Mayo coming up, they were sold out. I could have bought my cilantro a week ago and still had it. Look, you could have bought it two weeks ago. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> they won't let you buy this much. They make you buy this much. It's true. <laughs> so why not be able to keep it for as long as you need it instead of turning it into garbage like this? You want to talk about a flex pay? I mean, I just realized with the flex pays here, are 14. I know. That, if I throw away that plate of pepper right now, that's more than the flex Sure it is. Because those yellow peppers are cost like the earth. So let's look at peppers. That's the difference at three weeks. That is pepper sounds like a fresh pepper. And that's pepper. what you want. That's exactly the sound you want when you open it up. That's what you want to find. All of the seeds are intact. All that moisture is there. That and that. I know. Aroma. Oh, man. Wow. That I mean, I great. love the, the scent. Now, you're seeing a lot of whole fruits and vegetables. They don't have to be whole. Let's say you use part of the lettuce. In this bread box, I've got two big heads of iceberg. Yeah. Instead of finding that at 21 days in your refrigerator, you want to find this. That's three weeks and old. Smell that. I mean, iceberg. That is three weeks so old. Three weeks. Now, I only used half. Put the other half back into the box and it continues to work. Isn't that wild? Because remember that my boxes start to work the moment you put something in here. And Debbie, you talk about that just it. real briefly. Basically, whenever you're bringing something home from the grocery store, you yeah. call it a transportation device. Right. And it's, it's not your imagination that those bags are getting bigger. Bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger. That's not air. That is the ethylene gas that is produced by that salad that's in that bag. If you try to keep your salad or any produce in original packaging, and you do this, and you no. put, I don't care if you clip it, you staple it, you heat it, I don't care what you do to it, you just trap the very thing that's causing You're the it problem. Worse. That's the science. I take care of that fat gas for you through the formula of my boxes. If you have a cut end of something, like let's say this pepper, if you have a cut end and you just cover that end and you think that's keeping it fresh, mm -mm. no it isn't. No, it's not. All you may have stopped is some oxidation. Brown doesn't mean rotten. Brown, we're very particular about our food in this country. If it's got a little brown spot, nobody wants to eat it. But in fact, if this turns a little brown, it wouldn't matter. That's not rot. Because all of this is giving off the same gas. So by putting the entire pepper into one of my green boxes or any of the vegetables and putting their lids on, I've taken care of that gas. I'm slowing down the process for you. So whether it's baked goods, here I did, this is a Cinco de Mayo. Little Cinco de Mayo. I did a salsa bar yeah. just for you. Okay, here's my fresh chips. Boom. Kept fresh in, the, in one of my boxes. There's my salsa bar. My divided plates don't have to be a whole meal. You can see here, this is a meal. This is um, for one of my grandchildren, actually. But here, this is what I do, the adult version. Oh, that's uh, smart. I, I like that. I take this and a bottle of wine to my girlfriend's house, and that's <laughs> movie night. And I know you're a hard-working woman needs a cookie. So you pick the cookie. That's right. Okay. A soft-baked chocolate chip cookie. Nice. However, you can see, nice and soft. Because we've been together for 14 years, I can't fool her. I, she knows exactly how old these cookies are. These mm. cookies are 42 days old. 42 days. And I wouldn't give you a bad cookie. I would know it. you wouldn't. At 42 days, the independent scientific laboratory testing proved that baked goods and snacks did not lose their taste, texture, or aroma, which is what we love about baked goods in the love. first place. You better believe so, it. So you know everything is fresh. So remember, here's my, here, you're getting two of these boxes. This is eight cups, four cups on each side. There's six muffins there. You know, it's how nice it is to buy yeah. in advance and not have to run to the store. Do you want to run to the store Sunday morning because you're having someone for brunch? No. No, but just as a reminder for you, this is one of the largest and the most diverse collections that I've ever seen Debbie do. Yep. It's her last show to visit, so that price break is good now. Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day, free oh, yeah. shipping, less than $15 on your credit card. That bread box alone could be a flex pay here at oh, HSN. Absolutely. Love those divider meal uh, uh, trays. The two of the larger rectangular dividers, I love this size. That nine cup is yeah. fantastic. Then you call them your sandwich yeah. size. I think that's fabulous. So you get uh, four of those. Four of those. You're yep. getting six cup. You're getting, this is 19 and a quarter cups. It's like 4.8 quarts. These are two and a quarter cup. These are two and a quarter cup, and those are 1.125s. Nice. So 
capacity is huge, but you know, you figure out what fits in it for you. Here's the bread box again. Look at all the carrots in that bread box. That is, if you juice, if you make your own baby food, do you, you're not gonna go into your fridge in 21 <laughs> days sad. and deal with that. You wanna find this, and this is the difference. Here it is, right to the tip. There it is. Moisture and color tells you the nutrition is still in there. I'm interested in getting the nutrition into my family, not into the garbage can. If you keep going back to the store to replace the things that you had to throw away because you didn't store them in my green boxes sure. and green bags, that became very, very, very expensive produce. You're not only wasting time, you're wasting gasoline, you're wasting resources, you're doing all those things. People are thinking about the planet. They're thinking about stop wasting food. There's places on this earth that don't have enough food. It's true. So why would you want to buy something and turn it into garbage just, just to throw it away? Two weeks after you buy snap beans, they should still snap, and they can. I'm giving you the easiest way you've ever saved money. You just remove original packaging. That's not work. Right. <laughs> you put it in here and that is saving you money. And you don't have to use this for the same thing next time. If it's carrots and broccoli this time, it can be muffins and cookies the next time. Oh, true. So don't think it has to be the same thing. Okay. There's one of my divided plates done as a fruit and plate. Debbie, you'd store it the way you would store it, meaning if it would go in the refrigerator, exactly. you put it in the refrigerator. If it's something yeah. you keep on the counter, like, you keep it on the for counter. For instance, my pears, I keep on the countertop. Yeah. Look at that blush. Look at that mush. Yes. Two weeks two weeks. So the farmer's markets are starting, people's gonna grow things in their garden, but all year long, take advantage of sales, take advantage of trying something new. You don't have to be afraid of it. You can now buy something that you thought, well, some, a lot, I actually heard that a lot of people have never tried romaine. They, like, they know iceberg lettuce, oh, and they no know kidding. butter lettuce, but romaine was always like, seemed exotic for some uh -oh. reason. Okay, well now, that's it, three weeks. That, you know, that is just Boy, three weeks. That's fresh. I used to throw things away before I went away on business trips because I knew it would be garbage when sure. I came back. Now I come back, I'm still excited. I'm still doing my happy dance at my refrigerator well, when I come home. Because I know I have saved money. I have saved, I have saved the actual uh, food that I bought. Look at that broccoli. Look at the difference. This broccoli at three weeks, that's how it should be all tight oh, and beautiful that like is. that. Again, here's green onions. What a difference. Oh, I know Millicent is, is calling from Florida. Millicent, thank you for holding it. It's hey, Debbie oh, and Shannon. Millicent. Hi, hi, Millicent. Can you? Hi, hi, Millicent. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi there. So are you already a Debbie Meyer fan? Oh, yes, I am. I have ordered several several times, and I'm ordering some more for my grandkids, my granddaughters, to my two granddaughters, and friends, because oh. they are wonderful. Aren't Thank they? you so much, darling. Uh, so, Millicent, is she saving you money? Is she keeping things fresh longer? Oh, absolutely. That's because I live alone, and I'm 82 years old, oh. and I, I just use them all the time, and I appreciate them very well. much. Thank you so much for calling, Millicent. That is just so sweet yeah. of you. And thank you for being so generous and giving them as gifts because that's how you give the gift of saving it's money. It's true. Well, Millicent, yes. thank My you so much. granddaughters love them too. And I happy bet. Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day, Millicent. Thank you for thank, stopping thank by. Thank you. Thank you, thank darling. You. Thank oh, but, you. Thank you. And, but excellent point. They make amazing gifts. They really you do. Know, at Christmas time, in fact, everything I had in the show tonight, whether, whether it's my green boxes, it's my genius bag, and my sponges, think of the kind of kitchen you could do as a yeah. remake for, for your mom. Maybe you can do it for somebody who's just getting married. Maybe someone's getting their first apartment. Start people off right so that they know they don't have to waste food. They don't have to do things true. The, way, the hard way and learn. They don't have to learn. They'll learn this way. Look at all the corn in that bread box. Wow. Look at all the ears of corn. And guess what? This is going home with me tonight. And tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to have the family over and we're going to be having corn that I bought two weeks ago. Nice. Because I can. Because it's perfectly fresh and gorgeous instead of that. It means if you're going to do Memorial Day, Go to the store Why when not? no one else is going to the sure. store. You don't want to be there when other people are going. Here's a, here's a nice little crudite and hummus. I bring that with me when I go to somebody's house. There's my sandwich box. It's got a little sandwich in it. And I've told you, you've seen this oh, one before. Wow. We do this, we get the cut salad, 
we, you dump it immediately into one of my boxes. It starts to last longer just by doing that. And we make a salad bar because I get tired of watching people flick things out of the salad. I do love that idea. And that's costing you money as you well. Bet. A salad looks gorgeous, but if someone doesn't want tomatoes, they don't want croutons, they don't want olives, you got a bowl full of that stuff that you yeah, throw no away, kidding. right? I never forget about the good stuff. <laughs> that's the good for you stuff. Here's the good stuff. All your baked goods, all of your treats are going to stay fresh longer as well. You know that tortillas turn into cardboard oh, frisbees do. in a, day, know, like in a moment. As soon as you open the package, yeah. look how soft these are. And if you want to give things as gifts yourself, you want to give away baked goods. Oh, I got two lids there. If you want to give away baked goods, give them in one of my green boxes because you give them the baked goods, a way to keep them fresh longer, and they can keep the green box to help them save money on something yes. for, forever, essentially. Y yeah, these are forever fresh, and it's one of the biggest configurations, certainly the best oh. price that I have seen. She's mm -hmm. really covered your bases because a lot of these are the pieces that we would normally ask you to buy separately, exactly. like the bread box, Combining like the dividers. Combining these in one set was yep. like a big deal. And I'm so happy to give you this because these are the ones I use every single day. For sure. This is my favorite. It, so. it is, but remember, this is Debbie's last show, so if you want it, free shipping, $14 on your credit card, any one of these demonstration plates would pay for that flex pay you and bet. then you some. Bet. So Debbie, happy Mother's Day to you a little bit early. Well, thank you so very thank much. You. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. And